Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I've made uh, a few new friends today, guys, and in just a moment, I'm going to stop messing around, and I will show you everything in the 19W05A snapshot. My name is Waddles. Welcome. Look at this brand new villager. This is crazy. These guys are known as the Wandering Traders, and they have some pretty fresh sandals, I must say, and a very, very nice outfit. Really, really cool. So, in this chest is everything that is new or changed in the snapshot, and we will be going over all of it. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. But I think we need to start with the brand new Wandering Trader. So here they are, just kind of standing around. From my experience, this outfit is biome independent, meaning it's always going to be the same blue robe, at least right now, no matter what biome you are in. Now, the trades are expensive <laughs> but randomized there's some really cool things in here that are up for sale now of course a lot of these things are things that have never even been sold by villagers like the lily of the valley never mind that this is a brand new thing but still you get the point now i've spawned a whole bunch back here and we'll look through some of the trades real quick uh now i have traded with the guys in the fences and i have not unlocked any new trades at all quite yet so i'm not sure if these are going to have you know uh, other trades beyond these ones uh, again i haven't really found that to be the case quite yet but yeah tons of randomized things as you can tell and to make things even better <laughs> we have some custom llamas as well that will spawn with these traders now these llamas are temperamental meaning they can get annoyed with you and start spitting uh, at you and now i'm stuck in this cage <laughs> You won't be finding the Wandering Villager in any village. These guys will spawn randomly in the world with a pack of llamas and just wander around. If you come across them, of course, you can trade with them if you have a stack of emeralds. <laughs> So this spawning mechanic kind of reminds me of the patrol from previous snapshots which can randomly spawn around the world and, you know, just kind of wander around, which is very, very interesting. And I'm thinking, due to the spawning conditions of these guys, it might be a little difficult to find them, but I, I think that's an experiment for another day. So, a few final thoughts and a summary on the Wandering Trader. Really cool outfit, some pretty nice sandals, uh, tons and tons of variation in the trade items, and if I were a villager, I think I'd be a wandering trader. I mean, this is a pretty nice outfit, and yeah, I think I would, I would like to wear that. <laughs> As of today's snapshot, the Pillager Beast is no more. Say hello to the Ravager. Oh yeah, it's the same thing, just renamed. Uh, definitely a more fitting, cool, and evil sounding name in my opinion. But I don't know, does it stick? I, I guess we'll see. We have a brand new lantern placing and breaking sound. Sounds like metal. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, and the composter has been adjusted. The amount of items needed to input into this thing has been changed. Now, from my testing, it feels like the amount has been lowered, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It just really feels like we need less items to go into this to fill it now, which is something that I am very, very happy with. My biggest problem with the composter before was how many things you needed to put into it for one single bone meal. And of course, as you can see here, we do have that bone meal particle effect going now as well. You will still get one bone meal out of the composter each and every time though. And I think that pretty much sums up this snapshot. So Wandering Villagers, new and really cool in my opinion. What do you think about them though? Do you like this concept or not so much? My name is Waddles. This has been the 19W05A snapshot. My name is Waddles. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and check out the description for tons of other cool links. I do plan on covering the Bedrock Beta 1.10 as well this week, so look out for that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Go have a good day.